So hi everyone, so I'm doing a quick video on how to change your oil and oil filter on the Yamaha R6. So what we're going to start off by doing is, we're going to take this shift lever off first. 10 mil spanner. Take that off first. Once you're taking the bolt off, just slide it off. There's a mark right there on it, and where it fits on, there's a, a line that goes all the way across, so you know where to put it when you put it back. Right, next we are going to take this cover off here. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll take this first one off from here. That's one. Another one right there. Take that one off now. That's two, and the third one's right there. Get these pipes out of the way. Just some slotting. Move them out of the way. Then after that, hmm, we're going to drain the oil and then we'll take the oil filter off. So, right, we're going to take this off with it, 17 mil socket. Make sure you've uh, warmed your bike up first. So we'll let that drain now. I'm just gonna go around the other side and take the oil cap off to help it drain a bit quicker.
let that drain. While that's draining, I've got one of these what takes oil filters off. So that will fit on it like that. Then you just get a 17mm socket again. So we'll leave that to uh, completely drain out and then I'll come back when it's completely stopped draining. Right, see you in a minute. Right, after that, let's put it back together. What we're going to do is, we're going to put the bolt back in first. Next, we're gonna clean up as much as we can around the uh, where the oil filter is and before we put that back on. So, we're gonna do that now. Right, we're going to put the new oil filter on. So we're going to do that now. So before you put the oil filter on, just put a little bit of oil around the ring. Spread it around. Just helps it go on and it helps it come off next time you want to take it off. So you're only supposed to put these on hand tight. That's hand tight. So that's that done. So the only thing we have to do now is put the uh, cover back on and uh, put the pipes back in its place. So we'll put the pipes back. One pipe, then there's another pipe. That's the second pipe in place. Put the cover back on. Thank you. 
So we're just putting the cover back on here, sorry. Right, this is the next one. And then there's one more at the bottom right there. Right. If you want to know how to take the fairings off, I've done a separate video on uh, how to take the fairings off because I didn't want to do them together just in case people only wanted to see that. So, right, we're going to put this back in place. Remember the, uh, the dot and the uh, line to line them up. Make sure you tighten this up properly because uh, you don't want this to come off in the middle of nowhere and lose the bolt because it won't be able to change gears. That's that back on. Gonna get rid of the old oil filter in this. Get rid of the foil. Should have a nice big bit of burning in that one. Give anything what you need a wipe up. So that's that done. The only thing left to do now is top up your oil and check your level on your oil, what you'll do from the other side. So I'm not going to do that right now properly, I'm just going to top it up a little bit and, uh, and check it later properly but you can't check your oil on a paddock stand, it gives you a false reading, you'll end up putting too much oil in it. So I'm just going to show you, so you top your oil up from there and you take your reading from, from this one here. You just unscrew that. I'll take it out now quickly. So basically that's it. You just want to come up to here. If I can show you that. Up to this bit here. Just Clean this off, put it in, pull it back out, check your reading. If it is topping up, top it up. But don't go over over full. Because what will happen is your bike will end up really smoking and giving off loads of smoke to burn the excess oil off. Right, I hope that helps somebody. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later, bye. One more thing before uh, you go. Just to make sure everybody knows how to uh, check, uh, top your oil up and everything on the motorbike. So what you want to do is basically 
don't check your oil level on a paddock stand and don't check it on check it on the side stand either you need to stand it up straight somewhere level or get somebody to hold it or lean it against the wall level and uh, basically check your oil like i said before with the dipstick you just take the dipstick out uh put it straight back in and then uh take it straight back out and check the reading you, you don't screw it in or unscrew it or anything like that you just uh basically just put it in take it out check the reading if it's not enough wipe it top it up a bit more check it again until it's right uh and that's about it right that's it bye